We've heard a lot about this management degree at UC and uh, the things that we've heard are that because it's so close to the public sector power core, it's actually a really great place to come here to study management. Now, the other thing we've heard is that most people that do this degree, there is such a high percentage rate mm -hmm. of people getting jobs straight pretty out of uni. Pretty much guaranteed exactly, a job. Exactly, pretty much guaranteed. So what we wanted to do was find out if this was actually true. Now, we have to keep it down to other, other, other classes around, but we're going to send Mary in with the camera and we're going to just find out let's if this go. is true. All right, let's go. But it provides us with a real broad base to our management careers here um, and to our management studies. So we don't just focus on the private sector like many other universities will in their management programs. We really um, we, we, uh, spread that base out over private, public and third sector organisations. And before Christine, what was your question, sorry? My question was, what sort of vital skills and knowledge do I gain by studying yeah. here? Yeah, it's a really important question to ask as you're thinking about going into your careers. Um, here in our management degree, you get an opportunity to have something that you can take that can take you to many places. And working within our program, we have the sorts of things that are attractive to employers. Like you'll get a really good grounding in things like strategic management and human resource management in industrial relations, for example. What's that you've got? Nothing. Have you got a camera? What happened? Oh, what a sound! We'll be sure to enroll. Bye. Welcome to Yang Guang Weishi. Here is your favorite news show. Let's welcome Campbell University Jeremy Hatton. Hi, Jeremy. Good morning. Good morning, Jeremy. Good morning. Jeremy, can you tell me what you are in the United States of America? What department are you in? 实际上，我是旅游管理专业本科生的学科负责人。我负责所有在堪培拉大学学习旅游专业的学生。那么，如果我学习旅游专业的话，我会期望一些什么样的就业机会呢？啊，机会太多了。你可以从事纯旅游性质的工作，像是景点管理、公园管理、野外生物研究等。甚至，你还可以在商店、酒店或者纪念品零售等等领域工作。呃，那么 Jeremy， 像您这样从事旅游研究的人，您最喜欢的颜色是什么呢？嗯嗯，黄色，对，是黄色。啊、嗯，那么 Jeremy， 堪培拉大学的旅游管理专业与其他大学相比会有什么优势呢？堪培拉大学的人数相对少一些，这就意味着教职工可以更密切的关注每一个学生，及时了解学生的情况，帮助学生取得更好的学术成绩。我们相信，只有当你付出最大的努力。做好最棒的准备，你才更有机会得到最好的工作。那么，学习旅游专业应该不仅仅是为了成为一个旅游中介吧？非常正确，旅游中介只是旅游工业的一个部分。旅游学涉及广泛，它实际上更关注一些旅游对环境的影响，例如旅游业是如何影响第三世界国家的。旅游业拥有世界上最多的雇员，它的影响也是非常广泛的。例如，旅游业是如何影响第三世界国家的？啊、uh, ，那么 Jeremy， 你在堪培拉大学具体是做什么的呢？嗯、uh, ，我在堪培拉大学负责旅游学课程的。哦、oh, ，国会大厦就是在那里呀、啊。是是是是啊。那么 Jeremy， 大家会选择就读旅游专业的可能性很大吗？嗯、um, ，就像我刚刚提到的，旅游中介只是旅游学的一个部分。当然，这个取决于个人。但事实上，机会真的是很多的。你可以做导游、邮递员，也可以在机场工作，你也可以只是在旅游。不管你去哪里，人们总是需要旅游方面的专家。啊、uh, ，那么这和商科有什么联系吗？嗯，这是一个非常好的问题。无论从它的名字和课程内容上来说，商科是以研究商业、金融、会计、人力资源为基础的。而旅游管理是一个管理学科，所以学习商科的学生可以很容易的选择旅游管理作为他们的一个主修专业，这可以给他们提供更多的就业机会。
好的 ，Jeremy， 非常感谢您参加我们的早间新闻秀节目。不客气。嗯，接下来我们进行一个我最喜欢的话题：你头发的颜色反映出什么样的性格？You ready to get the skills? Yep. Come with me. Well, that leaves you. What kind of career do you want? I don't know. Marketing? Ah,、oh, if you want a career in marketing, then our business degrees with a major in marketing for you. We offer subjects in consumer behaviour, international marketing, marketing research, even internet marketing. Yeah, if you want a career in marketing, you've got to consider majoring in marketing with the School of Business and Government. Well, here we are at the Student Centre of Australia's Capital University, the University of Canberra. But if you want to get the skills, you, you have, have to, to enrol. enrol. 